Hello and welcome to Rear Facing Toddlers. For the third part of my question and answer sessions, I've had to come outside to the car because a few of the questions were about how to install a mini kid in the front seat or in the middle of the back seat. Now, what I'm going to show you today doesn't just apply to the mini kid. It will, you know, any car seat that has tether straps will be installed in the same way. But I am going to be using the Axe Kid Mini Kid for this demo. Before you install a car seat in the front seat of a car, you have to switch off the airbag. It's very, very important that you don't use a car seat with an active airbag because that's very dangerous. So you just put your key in the slot, turn it to the off side, and that's it. Now you can safely install a rear-facing car seat. I've now moved the front seat all the way forward so that I can attach the tether straps to the seat rails. And this car has got tether rings attached to the rails, which makes it really easy. So I'm just passing the strap through that ring and then through this loop here you've got to work out how much length you need on the straps to pass them under the front seat but they'll be longer than they would be if you installed the seat in the back and I'm now just going to move the front seat all the way back so that I can reach the straps from the front and pull them through I'm now going to pass the strap from the back through to the front underneath the seat trying to avoid all the metal wires and things that are down here. And you can now just about see the strap with its bracket on the end coming through from underneath the seat. And now I've put the mini kit in the car and I'm just going to move the front seat a little bit forward to close the gap between the back of the seat and the dashboard until it touches. There. So now I'm just going to install the seat by passing the seat belt through first, under the cover, you can see how to fully install the seat in my other videos. I'm just doing it quickly here because this is just about how to attach the straps in the front seat, really. So buckle it in, close the clip and the other clip on this side. And now it's time to attach the tethers. I've now got the bracket ready in my right hand facing forward so that when I pull the strap down, I can click it into place. So now I'm just going to pull out this strap and click it onto the bracket down here underneath the seat. And that's it. My hand out of the way and it tightens up. And now I'm just going to give the seat its usual wiggle to tighten up the straps. And then I'm going to extend the leg down to the floor no, and lock that into place. The straps are now coming up quite nicely from the front of the seat because this seat is quite square. I have come across before where there's, the, there's quite a curve in the corner of the seat and the straps ended up coming up from this side and that obviously wouldn't work and would be quite dangerous. So what you'd have to do if that happens in your car is simply cross the tether straps over so you would attach this one to that bracket and the one on that side to this bracket and that's perfectly safe and fine and that would work much better in the front seat. So that's the Mini Kid safely installed in the front seat of my car. Somebody also asked me if it was possible to install the Mini Kid or any other tethered car seat in the front of a van which doesn't have any back seats. Um, and the answer is sometimes it is, but sometimes it isn't because quite often the, well, for want of a better word, the legs of the front seat are boxed in and there'll be a board there where you can't get through there to access the rails that the seat is on or the legs or whatever. You need to find a metal part that you can um, tie the straps around. And if there is one, then that's fine. You can do the exact same front seat installation in a van. But if your van seats are completely boxed in at the bottom, then I'm afraid it's not possible. And then I also had quite a few questions from people who wanted to know if it's possible to install a car seat in the middle of the car, which in some cars it is and in some cars it isn't. It just depends on how wide your car is. Mine is wide enough, so I'm now going to show you how that would work in this car. So if you want to put the mini kid in the middle of the car, what you need to do is adjust the driver's seat for the tallest person and then adjust the passenger seat so that the backs are level and they're in line with each other. So I'm just going to move this seat back until it's roughly the same as my driver's seat. Does that look about level? Yeah, I'm happy with that. In some cars you can slide the middle seats backwards and forwards and you'd have to consult the manual of your car on this but in my one it says if you install car seats in the back you have to move the back seats as far back as they can go like this. 
Whether or not you can install a rear-facing car seat in the middle of a car often depends on this thing here, this central console, which can sometimes be in the way of the leg. Now, I'm very lucky and I discovered this completely by accident, but in my car, you can actually take the whole thing out. And that's what I'm going to do for this installation. So, first of all, as always, I'm just going to put the seatbelt through the seat and lock it into place. Pass it through under the cover, up the other side, into the buckle and lock the blue clips. For this part of the video, I haven't bothered attaching the tether straps to the runner rails of the front seat because in my car I've got rings already built in. But if yours doesn't, you will need to have attached the straps before you do this bit. And then you just get the buckle on the end of the strap that pulls out of the mini kid and go straight down to there, to the middle rail of the front seat. And the same on the other side. So again, the middle of the front seat. So I'm just going to give the seat a bit of a wiggle to tighten up the tether straps. And then the last thing to do is just to drop the leg down to the floor until it locks into place. And that's the mini kit installed in the middle of the back seat of my car. Some people also asked if it's possible or even necessary to tether them in the same way as you did in the front seat by going underneath the middle seat when it's installed in the middle of a big people carrier, like for instance, a Seat Alhambra or a Ford Galaxy. You can do it that way, but I don't really know why you would there's no need because you can just attach it to each of the middle runner rails of the front seat and as long as the front seat the driver's seat in particular is adjusted for the tallest driver to begin with then you're free to move that seat forward for a shorter person and then back again when the taller person needs to drive because the mini kit is installed the leg is attached to the floor so the mini kit itself won't be affected if you move that front seat away a little bit so that's how you safely install tether straps in the front and middle of your car Please check out Rear Facing Toddlers on YouTube for further information and thank you very much. <laughs>